Custom shapes can be used in many ways in Photoshop. Photoshop CS5, but CS4, CS3, PC or Mac. They can be used for shape layers, pass, fill designs, but they can also be used for a source of patterns, brushes, as well as exporting to other applications such as Illustrator. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to use them to create a brush. Now, the designs I'm using here are from graphicextras.com. It's in the Custom Shapes collection. You can find that on the graphicextras.com website. Just going to select one of the custom shapes. Now, custom shapes are loaded via the custom shapes panel. I'm just basically select the custom shape tool. This custom shape tool. Then go to the top bar. Load and replace, replace shapes. Also, you can use file open if you wish to actually load the CSH file. Now, once loaded, you can obviously go through all the various shapes. So I'm just going to select the shape design here. There's one here. Select that one. Now, obviously the color can be changed by, but obviously with a brush, it doesn't really matter too much. Obviously, you can use different scales of gray, but uh, obviously if you just use red, not going to be really much difference, but I'm just going to go for just black initially. So I'll just drag that out. Then just go to the selection, select the area for the brush tool, then edit, define brush preset. Click OK. So now you've got a new brush. So I'm just going to quickly show you, just going to select one of the brushes. And there's the brush stored in the brush. So it's great, quick use for a brush from a custom shape. Now I'm just going to quickly select another one. So you can show you can create slightly more complicated than that. Another shape tool. And there's a design there. Now you've got that. But you can also, of course, you can uh, layer it so you can maybe create multiple designs there, different levels of grayscale. Of course, you can apply effects. So if you wish, you can just say apply a blur. Now some blur. Create slightly more interesting design. Of course, you can combine different shapes. I mean, you don't have to have the same shape. I mean, it's, uh, it's no... Uh, hard and fast rule for that so you can just basically select another shape so I'm just gonna maybe put some white in there so you can get a sort of cut out in the design so you've got that then as soon as you've done that you can go to the define brush preset define brush preset click OK again deselect now and select the new brush there's the brush there So you can just set the color. I create many thousands and thousands of different designs just basically from one set. Of course, you could use any custom shape file you can find on the web, but uh, there's many graphicextras.com custom shapes available.